Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with my Paris haul video and recently if you guys don't follow me on my Twitter or my Instagram then I actually been to Paris for a week for my family vacation and I ended up picking up quite a few goodies from the airport and also spending too much time in shops and just eating macaroons and ice cream in general. So that's all good and recently I have ended up picking up um, some new bags which I really wanted and I got some beauty bits I want to show you guys and I also got some shoes that I picked up from Lafayette as well. So without waffling on too much, let's get started. So the first place I went to, or the first couple of places I went to when I was in Paris was Louis Vuitton and I've never been to Louis a Louis Vuitton store before. Um, it was always on my list of things to do but um, I never really intended to get anything and I'm not a huge speedy girl or I'm never really a never full um, tote bag girl so I didn't really see the appeal of getting anything but um, I spotted these online and I thought I'd try the Paris store to find these and I did um, end up picking up two things from the Louis Vuitton store so the first thing I'm going to show you they're actually exactly the same um, but they're just in different colours one of these is actually my mum's and the other one is mine so the actual packaging of the Louis Vuitton comes in a really lovely um, dark brown box and the lady kindly um, gift wrapped it for me just in case I wanted to give it to someone but um, my overall experience of um, Louis Vuitton I actually got this from the um, Laf uh, Gallery Lafayette um, itself and I had to queue about half an hour to get in but it was very very busy when I went on that day but she was very attentive and a lot of times when you go to these places you do have an idea or a picture of what you want but I kind of wanted to have a look around but um it was a little too busy for my liking so I just told her I wanted some um these products and um she directed me to the small other goods and um she just showed me here and there so the first one I'm going to show you um is this one which is a key holder these are actually both key holders which I wanted for ages and ages but um, I can never really justify buying one but when I was in Paris I seen these and I was like oh yeah okay um, let's get one because you're in Paris anyway and it's a little bit cheaper um, in comparison to UK so this one is the Demia Aben um, style if I'm saying it right and it's in a really lovely brown and black checkered comes like this and I got the six key holder instead of the four because there wasn't really a lot of price difference this one I believe was 170 euros and then the four key one was like 130 140 so it's not a huge difference and if I have more keys I can just pop it on there but you can um, I have seen people doubling these up as well so you can put two keys per key holder and you can store more keys then but I'm really really excited and this will definitely protect my keys and help me find my keys a, a little bit better because I can never find my keys and I always get really stressed out when I can't find my keys as well. So this one is a Demiero Ben and then the next one that I picked up um, is like I said exactly the same. Comes in a really nice um, box with a um, velvet patch like this and I got the... Um, can't remember what the white one's called but I picked up this one for myself and is what it looks like and I had my eye on this for ages and I really really wanted it but when she um, looked for it first time she couldn't find it and then she told me that they have one in stock but they didn't know where it was so she went back um, to the stock room and found it for me in the end and she said it was between two boxes um, but yeah I'm really happy that I got this one this is the cream leather one and it comes with the six key holder again and it has the Louis Vuitton um, Paris on there and I just really like this one I think the white and the gold go really well together and it just looks really really pretty and I'm really looking forward to using it and yeah overall I think this is really such a good idea because my mum actually had a key holder a long long time ago and I really liked her then I think that was in Louis Vuitton as well but that was a very very long time ago so um I thought I'd get her one as well as well get, get myself one because they are just really really handy to have so these are my key holders the next um products I have picked up are actually um some bags now these are actually airport purchases so I didn't know they you can do duty free shopping when you're coming back because I was coming back to Cardiff which um is within the European Union or was within the European Union before the referendum but um I ended up picking up um a few bags from Longchamp and 
I first of all got two bigger travel size bags and one handbag size. I'm going to um, show you guys the big travel size one first. So this is what a bag looks like and I always wanted a long chump bag but it's becoming a too popular now like everyone's got one but um i've seen this one um on the display and i really really like this and we had a bit of time to kill at the airport anyway so it looks a little bit like this and this one is the paris edition so i believe they only have it in paris so yeah this is a pretty big bag it's actually more it's the um big i think believe it's the big one and that you use for traveling and i wanted this to take um away with me if i go away for the weekend or if i'm going um you know on holidays for a week or something um then it's just really really handy so i'm not really sure what you can see in here but it is pretty big and you can fit a lot in here and this one was actually a really good deal because it was 98 euros originally um if you get from the shops but it's 89 at the airport and it had a half price sale as well so this one was about um 45 euros or 42 euros um and yeah i'm really really happy with it and this is probably one of my favorite purchases from the airport um i was so shocked when i seen it and the lady told me that it was the first time they had a half price sale on and um, usually with um, long term they do start off with like a 20% off sale and they gradually move up but this time with a 50% off sale and I'm really really happy so this is from long term and then the second one I ended up going for was the pink version which is exactly the same size and I really like this but they, I really wanted it in a smaller size but they just didn't have it so I went for the bigger size instead I don't know if you guys can see the bag um, but it is a pretty big bag it's the same size as the other bag that I got um, that I just shown you but this one is in a very lovely um, hot fuchsia pink and inside it's got the white and it's kind of big so but I really really like it I think it's really good for traveling and if you've got you can just throw your magazines and pretty much like a whole week of luggage in here so i do tend to overpack so um this probably would be just right or even a little bit too small so this one's the pink one and then the last um piece i picked up from long champ it was like a day bag and this is actually a lot um a little bit bigger than i thought it'll be so this one is a gray handbag and just looks like this and it's a really nice shiny gray as well which i really like and what i like about this is the handles are really long so you can definitely wear this over your shoulder um, as opposed to normal long chum bags you can actually only carry them which i don't find really convenient but this one is a little bit bigger i never seen the style before this one i believe was half price as well it was 100 euros and it was 50 percent off so it was 50 euros which i thought was really really good too so this is the other one i picked up and then moving on to some shoes i ended up picking up i went to gallery lafayette because my shoes i took to um paris um that i got from sarah were really really digging and i really just needed new shoes usually i don't do this but um they i was in so much agony when i was walking i really needed new shoes so i ended up picking up some new shoes and these ones from tory birch and i wasn't going to include these but they are so pretty and they are actually really comfortable so these are actually um tory birch espadrille so inside it's like a straw and then you have a flat form almost but it's very very nice and it makes me a lot taller which i'm not complaining about because it's very pretty so it comes in a navy stripe with the brown laces and it's got the brown details on the back of the shoe and i did actually pick this up um with a really good discount of 70 percent off so these were i believe like 70 or 60 I think they were 60 euros um instead of 200 euros but yeah i think these were like the last pay i got and luckily they actually fitted me so i picked these up as well from gallery lafayette and they have been a lifesaver my feet still hurts obviously from walking but um they haven't been as painful as if i was walking in my other shoes as well so these are from tory birch the next um, pieces I wanted to show you guys are some beauty bits and I actually only had time to go into one Sephora which is one of my regrets of going to Paris because I wanted to explore different Sephoras but um, the one I went to had very limited quantities of what I wanted and I wanted some skincare products but they didn't have any so I just ended up picking up some essentials and I did go for a new foundation brush and this is the Sephora Pro Ultra Liquid Foundation in 
number 83. I believe this is quite a new one and I do like these Sephora Pro brushes. I have talked about these on my channel before and these are probably one of my favourite um, makeup brushes to use day to day. They are just really easy. This one comes slightly slanted if you guys can see on camera and I think this one would give really nice coverage and you can definitely get to the nose bit and just under the eye where you um, can't normally put um, makeup but yeah this bit is um, a really nice design actually I'm really excited to use it and I do have a Sephora brush which I use pretty regularly and this is the Pro Airbrush um, 55 brush which it works really well with all sorts of foundation and I think this one is a little bit more dense so I feel like you can get a little bit more coverage from this one as well so I'm really really happy with this and then the next product I picked up from um, Sephora comes in a really nice pouch and I just picked up some miniatures because I did, um, did only just take hand luggage with me so I only picked up um, two of these um, triple action cleansing waters and I have talked about these again on my channel and every time I go to Sephora I do try and pick these up because they are really really good and these are probably one of the best micellar waters I have tried they are amazing in removing your makeup it doesn't leave any residue it doesn't leave any greasiness on your skin and your skin is actually really clean after using these so I just picked up two of these and these are the 50 mils and the final thing that I got is a waterproof eye makeup remover. Now I haven't um, tried the uh, waterproof version before but um, I have used, I have got another bottle that I'm using at the moment in the um, bathroom but I don't think it works very well. I, I definitely think the micellar water works a bit better but this one I find that you have to use a lot of it to take your eye makeup off and I don't, I wouldn't say I wear a ton of eye makeup. Um, day to day but this one you definitely have to use quite a lot of it to get it off but yeah I really really like this and um, yeah so this is all I picked up from Sephora and this is all I picked up from Paris as well so I hope you guys enjoyed my Paris haul and thank you very much for watching and I would have a new video for, for you guys next week so I'll see you guys in the next week or so bye guys